Thank you for joining us for this session on the power of connecting information to the business processes. In this session, we will use two customer case studies to learn how these companies use their digital transformation initiatives to achieve sustainable business process improvements, automations, and productivity gains by connecting data and transactional content, thus making the information available in the context of the process step. Before we get into the case studies, let me first present your two speakers. My name is Brian Lee. I manage the ECM practice for TerraLink in the Americas. My co-presenter is Chingis Jaksalikov, Business Development Manager for TerraLink in Eastern Europe. The two case studies we will be presenting are both TerraLink customer projects. For those who are not familiar with TerraLink, we're a systems integrator specializing in enterprise information and enterprise resource management solutions and services with vertical expertise in several industries. We focus on open text ECM, business strategy, and SAP implementations, upgrades, and integrations. Terralink's ECM solution focus utilizing the world-class open text ECM products has enabled the organization to grow from its Canadian roots to now having over 200,000 end users worldwide using Terralink deployed systems. As an award-winning open text partner with over 200 successfully implemented ECM projects, Terralink is a recognized provider of expert ECM business solutions and services. We're honored today to be able to present this session, the power of connecting information to the business processes. We'll start with what we typically see, individuals or departments working to complete tasks that are part of a larger business process, such as quote to cash, that crosses various business functions and departments, whether it be because of the deployment architecture of the supporting applications, departmental politics, politics or the very common, we just always done it that way. Very often the functions, especially interdepartmental functions, are siloed. Many times the data flow is not directly correlated to the business processes. Sales does selling, procurement does procuring, manufacturing does manufacturing, and so on. But the data does not always flow from system or application to the next department or job function in the overall business process or cycle. We're talking about the very data that would enable the business process automations and productivity gains every enterprise desires to attain. We're going to use two case studies to make the point of why connecting information to the business processes is so powerful. Let's start with case study number one, a commercial security and safety solutions and services provider. Typical customers for this provider would be retail chains who would have this company's products and equipment installed for security and intrusion monitoring as well for, as for smoke and fire safety systems and monitoring systems. The key process for this organization, what they call quote installation. In a very simplistic overview and explanation, the quote to installation business process starts with the sales organization. Sales work in their CRM application of choice to provide sales quotes to prospective customers, in this case, regional groups of retail sites for a chain of stores. Upon being awarded the contract for the security and safety solution and services as a back office function, sales orders are generated in the RP system using key data from the sales quote. The sales orders trigger service orders to be created in the ERP system. The service orders with the customer locations, product and equipment information, configurations, and other key information are sent to installation teams who are often contractors via a service delivery platform. The service delivery platform tool guides installers to complete the installation of the security and safety solutions and setting up of the services, in this case, monitoring services. That, in a few sentences, describes the quote installation process basics. As I describe the quote installation process, you will have noted that it runs across 
multiple departments and functions and is supported by three core applications, CRM for sales, the ERP system for the back office creation of the sales and service orders, and the service deployment platform for the installation teams. This is where our first case study really begins. Provider, they define the overall problem and opportunity with this picture. On the left side of the diagram referred to as old paradigm was how the commercial services provider described their legacy management of the business processes and the associated data or content. Content was being managed separately from the core business processes. They knew this and were seeing the effects on the business. On the right side was their vision of how they wanted the new paradigm to be with the content enriched business processes. They wanted the content to be integrated with the core business processes. In this case, the data flow to correlate to the functions and the tasks in the quota installation business process. As I mentioned, they knew the content was not always flowing with or even readily available for various departmental functions and decisions downstream in the quote to installation business process. They had studied the issues which identified various types of business challenges that were inherent in the sales quote to sales order to service order to system installed process. Key on their list of business challenges they needed to address were the siloed business functions. Systems were disconnected from the interdepartmental business and transactional content processing. Key business functions, sales, order management, service fulfillment, in the quote installation process were siloed. Field service workers lacked access to the right content at the right time. They were working from work orders communicated by a download only integrated platform. Additionally, they needed a system, a simple system, to upload installation and repair images of the particular retail store into that customer service or master record. The corporation already had made large investments in key business platforms, in this case, Salesforce, SAP, and the service delivery platform. Management wanted to see the promised ROI for these investments. And they lacked a mechanism to autonomously share that key data and information across the key business platforms and cross departmental job functions. And then there was customer service response levels. Because the service deployment system was not configured to systematically upload field images and records, the subsequent customer service and maintenance calls took extra coordination and communications. This was mostly due to the security and safety physical equipment installed at the individual store site not always matching the master file configurations in the ERP system that the customer service organization was using for the deployed products or system. While the customer had the vision to connect the content to the process, they lacked knowing how to do this until they were introduced to the concept of business workspaces. With business workspaces and other functions inherent in the OpenTech extended ECM platform, process automations, and the linking of key business objects across the CRM, ERP, and service delivery platform became possible. The OpenTech's extended ECM platform became the connecting system using the business workspaces between the CRM, ERP, and service delivery platforms. With business workspaces and the process automation capabilities in the extended ECM platform, the reimagined quote to installation process with the content tied to the process could now support and enable a final sales offer for a new customer triggered in automatic customer request from the CRM system to the ERP system. Customized products requested in the quote would be auto set up in the sales order master with pricing. Business objects were now available and displayed within the native application for the various business users to complete their process tasks and activities. The prior need to make calls or go and search out the key information from a predecessor function in the business process was eliminated. 
These same ex extended ECM capabilities matching the data flow to the process steps then enabled similar process automations and content availability downstream in the quote installation business process. To close the loop, the service delivery platform was configured to be able to upload the site-specific installed products and equipment which was stored in the ECM content repository, making this accurate information available to the customer service department for future system maintenance or new service calls for enhancements. For the company, the business benefits and results realized from the reimagined quote installation process were numerous and impactful, starting with a 360 degree view of the customer. Single version of the business content, documents, images, provided a single version of the truth. Different users were now seeing the same data. Now there was a comprehensive view of the customer from the sales quotes to the solution installation to the ongoing monitoring services. Improved contract management. Now they're able to maintain the content securely and support corporate compliance requirements. The structured organization of the customer data, whether that be the contracts or service orders or other customer information, was now contained in a uniform folder structure. A rich set of metadata associated to each business object enabled a powerful search interface with 20 plus search criterion now available to the user. Enhanced quoting, pricing, and service fulfillment. Maximizing investments in Salesforce, CRM, SAP, ERP, and the service delivery platform, users access shared workspace from their native applications when performing process tasks. There were productivity gains, the use of workflows to automate processes, and information available when needed in the native application. They spent less time to track down the key content for decision making and processing. Integrated data flow across the complete quote to installation business process and the supporting applications. This enabled the sharing of business and transactional content across key platforms. CRM, ERP, service delivery platform. Content was now connected to the process, which expedited completing tasks as having required data flowing to that job function. And improved service, response, service responsiveness, the ability for field technicians to access, capture key customer documents and images via the mobility application. Now they had perpetual inventory in sync between the service delivery system and ERP, whether at the service van, branch and hubs, or the distribution centers. I'd like to invite my co-presenter, Chingis, to present our second case study. Thanks, Brian. Our second case study is of a 20,000 employee chemical company that specializes in producing industrial plastic piping and other plastic products for oil and gas companies and other industrial customers. In a highly regulated business, they produce upwards of 70% of the plastic piping used in commercial application by several large Eastern European corporations. Overall, the goal was to increase the production potential and ensure the stable operation of all main production lines as the plant was not operating at full capacities on a regular and sustained basis. To start to accomplish this goal, TerraLink and the organization first undertook an investigation of the root causes for the unscheduled downtime or slowdowns in the production of the polyethylene pipe and other products. Key in the findings were, first, critical information was not always connected to some business processes, such as the planning and scheduling within the maintenance, repair and operation department. In addition, the data flow was not available to the tasks and activities that comprise the end-to-end -end business processes. There were many instances where there was disconnected or inefficient interdepartmental business and transactional processing of content such as uh, scattered data of doc or documents and uh, difficulty maintaining coordination across the many different manufacturing systems. 
There was a lack of permanent document access for key business functions, such as production, MRO and capital projects. There were duplicate instances of key engineering information, which caused its own challenges. Content was being generated in different formats and installed in different systems. For the failed service workers, there was a lack of access to necessary technical documentation. One example being the specific instructions for the specialized equipment needed during repairs. They were not able to make and save images of equipment where breakdowns had occurred. This heavily affected the MRO department. Large investments had been made in key business platforms, including SAP, MES and SCADA. The return of those investments were not being realized. There was a critical need to improve the core manufacturing processes, to improve the line outputs and attain sustainability of those results. TerraLink engaged with this company to implement a portfolio of diverse projects. After reviewing the business challenges and manufacturing processes, it was decided to implement a series of methodologies, application integration and content management solutions. Essentially, this could be boiled down to these three key areas. First is MRO, the maintenance, repair and operation function. While focused on the management of equipment and machinery, the works orders needed to be made more efficient to increase asset uptime. MRO needed to shift from real-time repairs to preventive maintenance with planned equipment repairs. So, they were scheduling maintenance tasks in advance of predicted breakdowns. Second concern, the care for the health of workers. Part of the job requirements for some of the workers were dangerous tasks during repairs, as there were risks for fire, gas leaks, working on high elevations and high voltage. There was a real need to raise the standards of safety with digitalizing the process steps for the workers to follow to perform the task in order to maintain or fix the equipment. All the data and documents for employees needed to be stored in the ECM system to be available upon request. The third challenge was the government safety regulation. For many of the production and maintenance activities, the company was required to meet government regulations. In order to comply these regulations and rules, certification of the employees, proper tools, calibration and proof of all necessary safety precaution and preparation had to be done and presented. To gather and store all this required information and data required the deployment of content repository. In this slide we have the final architecture. After all the projects were done, I realized this is a very busy diagram. But the major point to note in this new application architecture was the implementation of the OpenTX extended ESM platform, which now manages all the various data flow in one single place. All the master systems that still manage the key production processes are integrated with OpenTX ECM. Documents and data are now stored in a single repository. Employees now have access to the documents and data, such that this content is attached to the business processes and can be accessed from different interfaces across different systems. Now, employees can complete their job function from just their master systems, such as SAP plan maintenance for their MRO activities. With this change, they have the data they needed available to them, whether in the office or in the plant. This was a major change in having all the master system data that support the key production processes. Now, store it in the ECM system. Because of this change, the company can now more easily prepare and provide all required documents when government agencies request information or to comply with government regulation. As the documents are now stored in a single place, they are also subject to a single approach to managing the retention periods. The efficiency of the key production processes increased by 25%, a very significant improvement. Spare parts costs were being reduced by 15%, mostly due to using equipment diagrams and Planned maintenance schedules all stored in ECM application. Coordination of measures to perform light threatening works is now documented in advance for both internal and external controllers. A single information space 
for content management now exist where all information and content from all related enterprise system are stored and made available to the various application. Employee access to the necessary content has reduced time spent performing tasks within the different supporting processes. There is synchronization of data exchanging between different processes enabling other planned functions to benefit from access to the accurate data. Thanks, Chingiz, for taking us through our second customer case study. Those were impressive results the company achieved with the new methods, application integrations, and content management solutions that were deployed. We'd like to wrap up this session with key takeaways for why connecting information to the business processes is so powerful. Starting with the data is available in the context of the process step in the user's native application. This means they can execute and expedite those process steps. They have to, don't have to search for the uh, relevant structured or unstructured data, which leads to reduced time to complete the task, which increases their productivity. Data integrity. Users in the management have access to all the data via business workspaces. Correct and latest data drives confidence in the decision due to the data integrity. This increases compliance with regulations and safety measures. Number three, key data assess accessibility for field and plant workers. The ability to pull up orders, plans, or schematics, to collaborate with the home office on field issues, and it supports the shift to preactive actions that sustain higher and safer outputs. Number four, management has visibility into the process and progress. They can ascertain the status of individual quotes or orders, and they can drill down to details in the case of delays or where there's issues. And lastly, data flows back into the system. Images and schematic or maintenance information from the field or plant for is back in the system. Data is enabling accurate accounting or MRO records. We hope that you have found today's session, the power of connecting information to the business processes, insightful, thought-provoking, and possibly inspirational for your organization. TerraLink has the unique privilege to work with and support a significant number of organizations to reimagine how they would connect the data flow to interdepartmental functions and activities that compromise their key businesses and operational processes. If you have questions about the presentation today or would like to talk to us about how your organization can achieve similar transformations, please contact contact either Chinggis or myself using the contact information listed on this slide. We appreciate your time and attention. Thanks for listening and learning about the power of connecting information to the business processes here today.